Hi, this is Chris Davis of Slashgear and I'm here at CES 2016 with this, the all new 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV. It's Chevrolet's brand new compact all electric car, promising over 200 miles of range on a single charge. And they're talking about a price tag of around $30,000 after federal rebates. So here inside, as you can see, a lot of the dashboard's still covered up, but you can still see some of the main elements. There's a huge touchscreen in the center stack, it's more than 10 inches in size, and from here you have a brand new interface that uh, Chevrolet has developed with LG, and it tells you everything you need to know about the car and how you've been using it. So you can see your consumption history, uh, you can see what, how efficient you've been, and it's also where you would navigate. So one of the interesting things about Chevy's navigation system is that when you set a new destination, it will automatically choose not only the quickest route, uh, but the one which is the most efficient for your driving. So Chevrolet's electric cars are obviously best known perhaps for the Volt, so that's a hybrid, so it pairs together an electric propulsion system and an onboard uh, motor powered by gas, which works as a, a mobile charging station, as it were. The difference between the Volt and the Bolt, despite the very similar names, is that the Bolt has um, only electric power. There's no gas engine, so it means that if you're caught short of a charge, you're out of luck. But with around 200 miles range, and considering most average people take a commute of maybe 35, 36 miles a day, that shouldn't be too great an issue. Despite the fact that this is still a relatively affordable car, Chevrolet's packed it with quite a lot of technology, as well as the huge touchscreen. There's a lot of active safety assist, so if I tried to drive into one of these poles here, the car would hopefully stop me. Uh, at least that's the theory. Uh, there are also uh, 4G connectivity using uh, OnStar 4G and the car can act as a hotspot for multiple Wi-Fi clients, so keeping people in the back entertained on their iPads and iPhones. Another interesting feature is hidden up here in the rear view mirror. Now normally it looks like a regular mirror, but when you pull down this lever, which you might normally use to trigger night mode, it actually flips to a wide angle camera view. Now this is from the very rear of the car. It gets washed if it's uh, dirty with a little windshield washer, uh, but it shows you a full unobstructed view out of the back of the car. So it doesn't matter who you have in the rear seats, it doesn't matter what you have stacked up in the trunk, uh, you'll still be able to see. Chevrolet isn't showing us the full interior yet, but I can tell you it doesn't feel very much like a car that you'll get for around $30,000. You know, there's plenty of space, there's uh, rear charging ports, as you might expect considering the number of batteries inside the Bolt, and there's plenty of headroom as well. I'm 5'8 and I have quite a fair amount of space, lots of legroom too. So this isn't necessarily just a car for two people, you could definitely fit a small family in here. So that's the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV. It'll go into production at the very end of this year, and uh, Chevrolet will confirm final pricing closer to that point. As I say, we're expecting it to be around $30,000 after federal tax incentives.